Hey folks, uh, this lesson is divide decimals by whole numbers. This is a pretty fast one, you guys. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathLog.com. And there's our, our common course strand for our really cool teachers. And our question is, how do we divide decimals by whole numbers? All right, we have a few examples here. Here we go. Sandra opened a savings account at a bank for a new computer. She earns $3.48 interest on her savings account for over a three-month period. What is the average amount of interest Sandra earned per month on the savings account? Okay, so here we're going to divide 348 divided by 3. Okay, it's always good to estimate, you guys, so we know uh, when we get our answer, is it close to our estimate? Okay, this is close to 3. This is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So as long as we get a number that's close to 1, we should be good right there. Okay, all right, so 3 goes into 3.48. All right, now remember, you guys, uh, the number out here is called the divisor. The number up here is called the quotient. This is called the dividend. So this is the divisor. This answer that we're going to get is called our quotient, and this is our dividend, our number that it gets divided from, our divisor right there. Okay, let's slide that up right there. Okay, 3 goes into 3. Uh, once, uh, but when we're dividing, don't forget to slide that decimal right up there. Sorry about that. Three goes into three once right there, so we're going to put a one right there. And then we subtract, okay? So we're going to get zero and then slide the four down. Ring in a bell, you guys. All right, three goes into four once and then subtract. Four minus three is one. Slide the eight down right there. Three goes into 18 six times. And when we subtract, we get zero. So when the remainder is zero there are, and there's no more digits in this dividend, right here. I don't have any more numbers. It carries down right there. I'm done. Okay, so the division is complete right there. So I forgot to answer the question, you guys. Shame on me. So Sandra earns about $1.16 per month right there. Okay, all right, so let's divide 42.133 divided by 7. Let's first estimate 42 divided by 7 is 6. Okay, all right, so we're going to divide the ones. Don't forget to place that decimal straight up on top, okay? So 7 goes into 42 six times right there, and we get 42, and we subtract. All right, now, um, since we brought the next number down, how many times does 7 go into uh, 1? It's zero times, so we have to put the zero right there, okay? Real common errors. Kids forget that zero right there, okay? Now we've got to subtract. 1 minus 0 is 0 right there, and then we'll slide the next number down. So, so it's going to be 3 right there, okay? And then... 7 goes into 13 once, because 7 times 2 is 14. So just keep doing that until we finally finish with this last 3 sliding down, okay? All right, so 7 goes into 13 once, and we get uh, uh, 13 minus 7 is 6. Slide the next number down. 7 goes into 63 9 times. 9 times uh, 7 is uh, 63, so we finally get a remainder of 0. So to check our answers, we go ahead and multiply, you guys. So we're going to multiply... Uh, this quotient times the divisor right there, okay? So 7 times 9 is 63. It will carry the 6 right there and write the 3 down below, okay? And then 7 times 1 is 7 plus 3 is 13. So put the 3 down here and the 1 up above right there, okay? And then 7 times uh, 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. And finally, 7 times 6 is 42. And then we'll move the decimal over three places. There's none here, so just three places from this one. So we'll put the 42 right there and then move that decimal over three places, so 42.133, which is the same right there, 42.133, okay? So, so 42.133 divided by 7 gets us that 6.019. Uh, All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. Take care.